Hey guys, what's up? Alaric from AppFind here with a cool new app review on Photo Manager Pro. Now, um, guys, I got an important announcement. We're actually doing a giveaway on Photo Manager Pro. What's that, Alaric? You're doing another giveaway after you just made one on Twitter? Yes, but this one's going to be on YouTube for all of you guys on YouTube to enter. Alright, basically all you have to do is be a registered subscriber of AppFind, this channel. If you don't know how to subscribe, it's right up above. Just click the subscribe button. And all you have to do is write a comment below. Now, all comments are automatically entered, and you can enter as many times as you want by entering as many comments as you want. Okay, but each person can only win once. Okay? Alright, guys. And... Um, basically, these are worth $4 a piece, and we're giving away 10 of them. <laughs> that's like, you guys, that's pretty awesome. 10 of these, Photo Manager Pro, this is like my favorite, uh, Photo Manager app. And, uh, like, once again, thank the people over at Linkus for, uh, hitting us up with some of these cool promo codes to give away for these contests. It's pretty awesome. And, um... Yeah, so let's get right into the review. And by the way, by commenting, you're automatically adhering to the terms and conditions posted at the end of the video, so you might want to look at those first. Okay? So, here we go. Let's look at Photo Manager Pro. Now, this is a pretty awesome little application. I use these to store, like, almost all of my, um, my photos and stuff. Basically, what it takes is it takes the original, um, photo storing concept, and it really just totally upgrades it. Alright, so basically you can just take your normal um, normal little folder here and you can see that you could post either photos or videos. Now let's go right in here. We got one of my cool wallpapers and what it automatically does is it shows you what the file name is, how many uh, kilobytes, and the date that it was either taken or added to this library. Alright, so you can also add videos as well and now it has a nice little cool video player. It can turn like this. And it's pretty cool. This is just a, a video of my channel. Alright. And so let's go right back over here now. It has a cool slideshow system. But one of the coolest things I like about this app is you can change the metadata. So basically what that means is you can add a location. Um, you can rename it. And you can even add a caption. So I already have a caption right here. Basically all it's saying is cool wallpaper. But what's also really cool is it accepts the mo uh, emoji keyboard. And so I'll add like a smiley face there. And see now at the bottom, it has a little caption, cool wallpaper. So that way, you know, you can write yourself little notes about the uh, the photos that you have. Now it's pretty cool and uh, awesome. Now basically what you have here is you got a bunch of different stuff. You know, you can favorite this and it'll be added right to your favorites just by clicking that button. You can play it in a slideshow, nice little slideshow, totally customizable. You can actually rotate it. Um around and that's very helpful you know because sometimes you take a picture on your side and stuff and um yeah you need to do that uh you can share it through click the wrong button there you can share it through uh facebook twitter and you can email it you can also do person to person sharing so you can share it through Bluetooth between each person. All right, you can export them and move these files. It's very, very highly customizable. Now, what you can also do is you can also change a bunch of these settings. Look at all these settings. Okay, you can even have music playing in the background. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's you don't see that that often. Um, what you can do is you can export through a server um, all your photos. So if you start the photo server and you go right there to that um, IP address, you will be able to download. Uh, all the files onto your computer and send all the files on your computer to your iPod. It's pretty cool. So let's close that right there. Now there's this really cool thing. It's a secret, um, it's a secret folder thing, and it's pretty cool. It's a four-digit passcode. So it's one, two, three, four is my four-digit passcode. It brings you right in. Now look at this. What, what what could this be? Is this one of those cool wallpaper lock screen wallpapers? By Linkus Lock Screen Designer. I think it is. Click anywhere on the screen to go to that review. All right, now it's gone. You can also see below, link below, for the uh, Lock Screen Designer app review. That's uh, pretty cool. It's nice. And as you can see, you got full zooming capabilities, um, HD Retina display. Everything is automatically saved, automatically customizable. You can rename it and stuff. It's really cool. This app is really all in all 
one of the best there. It's as simple as one, two, three to create a new folder. Uh, just two steps. Um, it's pretty awesome. Nice app. I really enjoy it. Really good part of uh, your app collection. Now, once again, guys, I, remember, I uh, recommend entering that contest below. The winners will be picked next Saturday. Saturday, uh, June... Huh. I don't remember. It's like Saturday, June 3rd or 4th or something like that. Anyways, next Saturday, all the uh, winners will be picked. Ten winners. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So just be subscribed and enter the contest. See you guys later on App Fun on YouTube. Bye.